Welcome to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series. In this video, we'll talk about the ability to be able to import models of your own design or the ability to import any 3D model into the tool. That is a very powerful feature in Practice Sim Designer to be able to extend the capabilities of the tool. Today, we have over 700 different props available to you. Uh, but of course, if you want to extend this by adding new props, you can choose whatever you want to do. And all these props are essentially 3D objects that you can use any 3D design tool. Uh, you can even download models from CG Trader, TurboScript, any of these websites that offer 3D models for download. And what you do is you need to find a way to export these tools into a GLB format. Uh, once it's in a GLB format, then you have this ability to import this into the tool. And here's how you do it. If you go over to miscellaneous, there's an object down here called custom prop. So it works like any other prop. You can just click it and bring it down to a stage wherever you want this. And once you drop it here, as you can see, the option is, so all you have to do is just hit I. The dialog box will pop up for you to select a GLB file. So let me go look for a GLB file. I believe I have a few here just to try it out. And so let's pick one called the import test.glb, which is essentially some text that I've basically created in, in Blender and assign a gold texture to it. So as you can see, it appears. You can select it just like any other prop. You can rotate it, you can raise it, lower it, whatever you want. You can also change the size by make it bigger like that. So that's one cool feature. Let's, let's import some more. You can also uh, clone this. So if you hit middle mouse button, you clone this. All right, and then you can hit here and you can, if I want to change this, all I have to do is just hit I to load a different GLB file. And let me load a yellow chair. So now I have a yellow chair model. And all, let's drop another one here and let's clone this if I want to. Let's, uh, let's do I and let's try a comfy seat, for instance. As you can see, there's a slight pause while the system loads the GLB. So this depends on the complexity of the 3D model. Please be aware that if your 3D model is hyper detailed, you have lots of polygons and vertices, then it will take you a long time to load uh, this model into the tool. Also, uh, you could also consume a ton of memory and it will also start to slow the tool down or slow your computer down. So please be aware, don't load a lot or tons of GLB files that are hyper detailed. Otherwise, you will slow your machine down. That's how you can load custom objects here. As you can see, you can clone this. Even cloning takes a while, right? And you can save this into an SDG file. And when you load it back up again, your objects will reappear. Please bear in mind when you save the uh, stage file, if you ever delete the source locations for all these files, the source GLB files or move them somewhere else, you will not be able to find them and you will error out. Right, so please be aware. So that's it for this video. On to the next.